So today we're going to go over grouping Airtable data so you can better process the data. So um, you may have checked out uh, our previous video about filters. So grouping is something else you can do on top of filters to really process the data a little more. Um, so I'm going to start by sharing my screen here with you. Okay, so for this base, we have a lot of information in here. So let's create a new view. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to hit grid. I like the grid views. And what we'll do is we'll look for, um, I don't know, uh, city projects. That's what we'll call it. All right, so within here, um, we can, this is a ton of data. We have four, 493 records in here, and it's really just a data dump. There's so much stuff in here. So how can we group it? So essentially, you can group the data by any one of your um, columns that you have lined up here. So uh, let's do it by type. So you hit group and pick a field to group by. And we can group it by type here. All right. So now it essentially takes the type and just throws them all together. So this type, we have an N there, and this one is community, is all together. This one is a feed. So now we're able to see our, our content a little, a little better in here. Um, let's see if we could throw another group. So you can add another group to um, filter by. Let's do by, oh, lead. Who's the lead of this project? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So now we have different leads. Oh, this one's empty. So all of those projects need a project lead in there. And here's another lead and another lead, which is great. So now we can say, okay, John is in charge of uh, these programs here under this type of program. So you can essentially continue to add more groups to group by. Um, you can do it by cities on top of it, and it will just keep breaking down that data to what you need. So I would recommend um, first filtering your content the way you want it. Um, and then, so say we just want, say we just want to see project type is neighborhood network stuff. And then we group that, pick a group. Now we just want to see the lead of that particular group. It really makes the content a lot easier to review and process. And you can use this for so many different things. All right. Thanks for watching.